Hello guys, this is how to set up RPM filter real quick and these are what you need. I will put all the links of the firmware and programs in the video description and don't forget to support me. Well, if I help you out, then give me some, why not? There are many ways to support me or watch my video often, okay? For BLHeli 32 ESC, what you need to check is that you have the firmware version 32.7.0 or newer, 32.7.0 or newer, and that is it. If you don't have that, then you need to flash your ESC, and this is how to flash for those who never use BLHeli Suite Configurator. And that's all for BLHeli 32. But for BLHeli S, you see, this is how to check the type of uh, ESC in detail. And the type of ESC also shown here in this page as well. And there are two ways to get the RPM filter firmware for BLHeli S ESC. First is the free version, which is called Jazz Maverick. You can search it on internet and you will find this website in no time and select 16.73 not newer than that 16.70 as of august 2020 and select the type of ESC that you need right click and save link as then go back to the BLHD suite configurator and flash all your ESC this is how to flash using the saved uh, file that you have done earlier after you flash all, and that's it. And for the paid version of RPM filter firmware, and it's called JESC, go to jfly.net, open an account, and make a purchase according to your needs. You may, you may need a single firmware for a single ESC, or 4-in-1 uh, for 4-in-1 ESC and get the JSC configurator. It's in the install instructions page. It's not hard to find. After you down, click on that link, you will see there is many of types of uh, configurator. Just get the latest release version and the type according to your computer. And this is how it looks like. Once you go inside the configurators, what you need to do is to uh, license all your ESC and flash all, then flash all tele telemetry, and then don't forget to write it up to save the change. And that is it for the ESC part. Now let's move on to Betafly. What you need is Betafly firmware 4.1 or newer and the configurator, Betafly configurator according to your firmware. And check the PID and gyro loop that your flight controller can do and set the D-shot accordingly. And then turn on bi-directional D-shot and count the motors uh, magnets and put that number in the box as described in the picture here. And then move on to the, the filter page and turn on RPM filter. The harmonic number should be 3, why not? And then set the dynamic notch filter accordingly, as I described here. Go to the CLI page and there are two lines that you need to type. First is D-Shot Burst and second is Scheduler Optimize Red. Uh, set according to what I described here. And then this is just to check whether your PID and general loops uh, works as you think or not. Just type tasks. And then let's move on to the model tabs. Remove properties first just to check whether the ESC telemetry has any error or not. You, you don't want anything more than 1% here. And this is how you check and just see the error that is not exceed 1%. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me back if I help you solve some problems. Then give me back some. Why not? Alright. Thank you and see you next video. Bye bye.